to the good news story of the tourist who thanked Dubai after they left 35,000 dirham and a drone on a bus. These stories never get old. The couple who were visiting Dubai last month want to personally thank Dubai police for their impeccable lost and found service. And they said, we remembered this next day and immediately contacted Dubai police. They had found our bag and kept it safely. We got it back the next day after filing a questionnaire. But I would like to thank Dubai police for having such strict security protocols. Could you imagine the moment... You realize you've lost that amount of money. Oh, you've lost, you've done that. I have. You did something I like have. that before. Yeah. I've lost like almost 13K. It's, it was by mistake because I had to like um, take them out of my bank account and I had them in an envelope. And at the moment I had come back from work and I promised my friends to go watch a movie. And I have kept them in my, um, it's like a, bag my, my bag where I keep my lunch but my lunch was done so it was empty so I only had the envelope there and oh my god I finished the movie came back home and I was like oh my god I forgot the bag I was freaking out I case you have no idea I freaked out I could I even if I called them they were khalas they were like closed they, they were not even open it was like what 1 a.m and the next day I called and I got them back was that your cash or was it your employees why My question always when I hear these stories is like, what are you doing with this couple? I don't have the full story. I assume they're on holiday, maybe, yeah, yeah. and they transferred the money into Durham before they came or something, and that's yeah. why, I'm guessing, yeah. unless they have another story. What about you? Like, Why did you need such a large sum? Because technically Your what rent? happened is, um, with my old bank account, uh, kind of like um, someone, like a fraud almost happened. You know, someone tried to like, I don't know, log in and all of these things. So the bank called me like saying like, hey, it's better if you withdraw the cash. And I'm like, fine, I'll do that before I go watch the movie with my friends. And I withdrew them and I put them in an envelope just to make sure that they are not going to be lost. But I lost them altogether. The next day I called and I got them back. Oh my God, and I love literally, that. And literally I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my God, the, what is going to happen? It's a, like, it's, it's a sum of money, you know what I mean? And I was like freaking out. I had like anxiety the whole entire time. I hope mom's not watching because <laughs> If she is watching. Mom is always watching. She'll know. If you I haven't told not. her something, she'll know. I, because she knew. She knew. She was like, Farah, are you okay? Are you okay? But, you know, when you freak out, it does show on your face. And specifically with me, like, whatever I feel, it just shows on my face. Yeah. I'd, love, I'd just love to ask, is anyone watching or anyone in the back room, do you guys have any lost and found Dubai stories? Like, what is, like, the highest value, something that you've lost that you got back? Oh, negative. You've never lost, you've never left a phone behind in a taxi? I've done it like five times. <laughs> Can Instagram hear that? Oh. That is wild. Headphones, you would have just assumed that they'd be gone. That is absolutely incredible. I can't believe you're, you went back to get them. <laughs> Were they AirPods? How would they even have known? Like, I'm sure they had loads of them. <sighs> wow. How honest do the people need to be that, like, they're sitting there? I wonder how long the Lost and Found stays open. Like, and after yeah. maybe a year, they give it to charity or something? I'm not sure, but uh, I think that everyone who lives in Dubai, or I would say most of the people who live in Dubai, just know the... the shout, shout out, out Dubai Airport. Shout out to Dubai police, because as well, I've once lost, uh, I don't know, but I think Ali and Masa can relate, because we went to the same university, is that when we would have, like, Which let's one? say, American University in Dubai, yeah. and if, let's say, like, you want to, um, we have a project to shoot, and we would, like, uh, book cameras, 5D cameras, and really, like, expensive equipment so at that time I had a documentary to shoot and I had booked the 5D Canon camera and I have taken it and you have I have to give it like later on to you know like you have to give it back and sign up and all of these, uh, all of these things 
And I was coming back home in the taxi, and I don't know how, but I forgot it in the taxi. And I freaked out. Oh my gosh. I freaked out the next day. I, have, I had went to the um, police station, and it was there. That was there. That's like crazier than the cash, I think, because it's, yeah. it's a fancy camera. Literally. That belongs to <laughs> the university. The university. Me. They, they because even when you have to pay it, you'd have to, because you probably want the camera for yourself and you're going to have yeah. to pay it. I just seeing your shoes are really cute. Um, yeah. You'd have to pay it and you'd have to pay back to the university and then they'd get to keep the camera and that would be a real kick in the teeth. But you found it and someone yeah. could easily take a camera. Literally. Like no one's going to yeah. take cash. Like everyone knows yeah. it. But if you find a camera, L- you, you, I wouldn't, exactly. I'm just <laughs> yeah, but you know, like this is the thing because I think everyone who lives here in Dubai just know they just know the the strict rules of Dubai, and yeah. it's amazing how everyone, almost everyone, just uh, you know, they're they're very as well. They abide by the rules and the laws. Yeah, what just makes you feel at ease, and which what makes Dubai Dubai. Dubai. Sheikh Lassad, thank you so much for your comment. You said you lost your phone in the cinema and you got it back. I'd like to shout out Dubai Police, Dubai Airports, Dubai Mall, Mall of the Emirates, um, Dubai Tennis, Dubai Taxi, so RTA, and everyone who's been involved in returning everything my mom has lost over the last five years <laughs> because she continuously loses things all the time and she always gets it back with like her wallets always have the cash in it. She's always got the cards. Um, so yeah, everyone who's contributed to the safe return of my mom's goods, much appreciated.